Hey guys and girls, Nathan here, just out, about to spray paint a house, and about to show you how you can paint a house in about 15 minutes, a three bedroom home. So, what I've got here is an airless spray gun. Uh, you can pick up little cheap shit ones for like three, four hundred dollars on eBay. Uh, they don't work that well. Uh, you can pick them up into like a few thousand dollars. I don't need one like that. Uh, I've got a mid-range one, it's about a thousand bucks worth of uh, spray gear here. Um, this thing here, it's earned its keep many times over, over the years. I've had a few of them. Tradies try and steal them and shit like that. So uh, this is the one I've got at the moment. Um, what I'm doing here, I'll show you inside in a moment, just how you prime this thing up. But I'm at a point I can see the paint starting to come out of the gun. And I've got to prime that until it goes to paint like that. And you know, we're killing some weeds here, but that's cool. Uh, my paint of choice at the moment is Lexicon Half. It used to be Whisper White, um, but I changed that a little while ago. It's going to get noisy in here, so just be aware, everybody. I'll try and talk louder for us. But um, yeah, basically, as we come into the, the house, I'll shut the door. My cameraman Kane here today, he came over and I was like, come on, man, we're going to paint the house. He's like, really? I'm like, yeah. And here we are. So um, basically, what I've got here is my paint. Which gets up in the here, slides out the tube. I'm going to prime it into some water first. The water, the container that I had for the water broke, and I couldn't be bothered going out and getting another one. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to show you how I paint a house very quickly. Through a couple of spiders up here, which you don't want to be in my paint, which I didn't realise. <laughs> Come on, guys, get out. Get out. You've got 10 seconds to. So you get down, and you're going to be looking a bit different. So, um, maybe the cameraman will want to take the jumper off as well. <laughs> Do you want to take the jumper off? No, it's alright. Alright, we're going to get started. First coat. You can see her all day and start painting and roll the brush, roll the roller. Or, I'm probably going to have people saying, hey, what are you doing? That's not the way you're saying. Etc. Etc. And that's okay, because I'm not a professional painter, right? I'm just here. There's people there from Western Sydney doing the bit. Property, building property, and then you do the rental property. It's important to track well before you do it, which the trains haven't done around the floor because they've left a lot of rubbish there. The place looks a lot better than it does show on the camera, um, but we have got one coat of paint on throughout the whole place. Like, imagine having a cutting each little corners, and we go to each little um, sort of linen cupboard and built-in row. Imagine having to go up in there, cut all this stuff in. 
Right. It looks like it's got lines in it, which it does because it's a sprayer, um, but it's not that bad. Um, it's very flat. Um, it just looks like it's got lines, but it's just the way it's drying. It's a little bit thicker in different places. But um, one coat down. Imagine having to pop up inside of all these places, cut in all this. You know, this house is literally taking 50 minutes to, uh, to get base coat of paint on the walls. So a lot of people ask me, Nathan, why do you do a full reno at once? Why don't you do a, um, why don't you just paint a house or why don't you just do this? When I do my renos, I like to do the whole reno at once. Uh, the reason being is that, you know, you can get in and out of painting a house in a few hours rather than a few days or a few weeks and cutting in and watching out for the edges of the carpet and being careful of the tiles. You go in, paint. The reason why I'm painting it today um, is due to the fact that I have tilers coming tomorrow to tile the whole house and all the bathrooms and uh, to do the, the, the finish off on it. So this house will hopefully be finished in the next week or so. It's just been sitting here for a long time, so I've been busy doing lots of other things. Um, but yeah, with it, we'll come back in an hour. This is the kitchen area here. It's gonna have cupboards down the bottom, so that's why I didn't paint down there. And up the top, it's gonna have tiles anyway, but I thought I'd, I'd just give it a, a, a once over. But um, let's see how I look after the second coat of paint. 51 minutes it took from the last video to now. Painted the first coat of the proper paint, uh, not the primer. Uh, took about 40 minutes this time around. So, as we walk around the house, looking much more like a regular paint job rather than the streaky paint that was last time because that was a prime. I had a few people comment on that. Um, kitchen area here again. Master bedroom. On the suite and walk-in row. So this time I did around the windows. Did all the ceilings now. So yeah, one more coat to go guys. And then we're good for tiling for tomorrow. So uh, let's get amongst it. There we are, finished. Three coats done in the house. It is fully painted. For all the haters, for the first couple of coats, it is the first couple of coats because it is the first couple of coats. But um, let me know what you think of the end product. Lexicon half on the ceiling and walls. Uh, the reason being is safety you having to cut in and um, yeah, safety you having to cut into the, the corners and uh, the architraves and everything like that. So it's all the same color, very simple, neutral color. Uh, I've updated my 10 year long Whisper White in my properties. Um, there is no um, lighting in this place. It hasn't been fitted out yet with lighting. It is a new build, but I've painted this thing three coats this afternoon. It is still wet, hence why there is some lines on the wall. It is a flat color. Um, yeah, there you go guys. Get amongst it.